Papa Talk, how's that? Did it grab your attention? Yes, it did. Sorry. <laughs> we are on the beautiful island of Martha's Vineyard, and we're cooking at the PA Club. And tonight we're doing chicken tauntaun. Chicken tauntaun, chicken tauntaun. <laughs> You're going right. to have to tell me all about chicken tauntaun. Chicken tauntaun goes way, 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 way back when I was teaching her how to cook. She never did learn. <laughs> <laughs> and I created this for my wife, actually, this, this meal. I just made it up in zucchini, it's mushrooms, it's chicken. I know there's cheese. no onions. No onions for the tauntaun. And no anchovies. That's where it gets its name, chicken tauntaun. <laughs> <laughs> I can really go into that and go, chicken tauntaun, chicken tauntaun, you know. We're going to use the Presto to cook. You can do this on your stove, but we're going to use Presto so we can show everybody. I love these things. These things are awesome. Let's wash the mushrooms. Okay. Do you get a commission on them? Do you actually wash them or do you wipe them off? Just rinse them out with cold water. Okay. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Thank you for the herbs. Are they good? They're delicious. Amy, what are they? Uh, that is a bruschetta with, uh, sorry, with, there's, it's with uh, mozzarella cheese and diced tomato, little, little peppers, little onions, and a hint of pesto. Um, and then I was going to drizzle some balsamic vinegar on top, but the topper was a little wide, so it's going to be like soaked in balsamic, so I didn't do that. But what's really nice is you can always like drizzle a little balsamic on top and it just gives it a hint of tanginess, which is very nice. Very nice. And then I also added the Tuscan bean dip, which is vegetarian. Um, and that's the can white canelli beans. Um, white canelli beans and olive oil, Worcestershire sauce, um, red pepper flakes, and olive oil, and salt and pepper. Salt and pepper always are important, like anything you do, pretty much. So. Let's go. So what am I chopping now? I turn this up to 350, or pesto. I'm going to throw a little green olive oil in the bottom of it. We're just going to throw the chicken right in. And I picked up, everything came here from Reliable. Very inexpensive. Nice meal for the family. Can't beat the price. And all we're going to do is coat the bottom a little bit. Just for flavor more than it. Throw it right in there, Amy. And you know, that's really good, you know, extra virgin olive oil is great because it's got a, it's a little sweeter, but you can always use, for a lot of cooking, like, um, you know, unless it specifies like extra virgin olive oil or something, yeah. you can use virgin ol olive oil. And the nice part about it is there's so many great olive oils out Italian, nowadays. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> and do you know what? Actually, Spanish, uh, Spain is coming out with some great olive oils, too, so don't be afraid to try some of them. Aha, uh -huh, she got you there. Yeah. No, no, because they are really coming out with some really great ones. We were just discussing that. Yeah! Okay, I need to play with the chicken. Why is it I always get my hands dirty and you never do? <laughs> Let me just ask you. Well, I got the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so, just toss these? Just put them right in. Just put them right in there. Fry them right up. Oh, we're not going to cut them or anything. They're going to go right into a casserole dish, all Woo. mixed together. Oh, and that casserole dish is a Le Creuset casserole dish, which is great because it can st uh, stand high heat. And so you can do anything in that casserole dish. Yeah, I actually bake. I have baked cakes in it and everything. Yep. Like that, you know. And I did get that at Larue, and it's one of my new favorite toys. You know how some people go to, you know, kids, you know. I go into a, a cooking store with my husband, and we're like kids in a candy store. Oh, <laughs> let's go look at everything. I'm all going into the room. And all we're going to do is, is cook these through. We're not trying to go crazy with them. We're not trying to brown them. We just want to cook the chicken through because we're going to be baking these in the oven, too. And I'll actually put a little bit of water in there also. How you doing, John? I'll throw about a quarter cup of water in there with this. And no spices. That's it. The spices are in the sauce from the last show. That goes on top of this dish. I'm glad you're going to refresh my memory on the spices from last show. Well, it's on, Phil. It's still Aaron. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I love it. I've watched it like this. 
<laughs> okay. And all we're going to do with these is chop these into like one inch slices. Just cut the tail off. And just do them one inch. One inch. One quarter, three quarters. And throw the other tail away. But what if you like the tail? You, you know, some people like the tail. Tail these are nice zucchini too. These are nice and fresh. This is awesome during the fall of the year. You pull this right out of the garden. That's actually when I used to do this all the time in the fall. It's starting to get cold. You don't mind the oven going. You know, get sick of McDonald's. Yeah. Where's the McDonald's on this island? Well, that's on. Okay. <laughs> on the other side. I talked about it a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Put the chicken. See how they're just turning white? You guys all know that. For the, I do a lot of talking for the new cooks because they haven't got a clue. It's like on my my last show. It's, it's airing right now. The turkey dinner. I had emails. Now this is after Thanksgiving. You do turkey on Thanksgiving, right? I get emails. Will you do a turkey? We need to know how to do the turkey from from young cooks. You know. Well, and this is a true story. I said this on the last show. I got a friend. Daughter's growing up, got a new family, calls mom up. Ma, how do I do the turkey? So mom tells her, you go get a turkey, get, you know, the list of all the fixings and everything. So she comes home, and mom says, you need to wash the turkey first, and then, you, you know, prepare. Call me when it's all ready to go into the oven, and I'll tell you how to put it together. So daughter calls mom up. Ma, I have a problem. What's the matter? I clean the turkey, and I can't get the soap out of it. <laughs> so, <laughs> and that's a true story. Ma says, throw the turkey away and start over, dear. <laughs> <laughs> she washed it with an SOS pen. Uh, yeah. You know, a turkey is a great thing at any time of year. That's good. Yeah, nice. I like it. I love this presto cooker. These things are awesome. You do everything right on your counter. Put the top back on it. <laughs> I, I'm holding back. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like a press up. I didn't say that. I love the press up. Oh, I was okay. talking about doing it on the counters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, the counters. I, I have to have another one. <laughs> well, it's time to get the spaghetti on. Get the pasta going. Now, I'll do that. Take the chicken, slide it down, throw the zucchini right in one side. Okay. Then I'll put the pasta on real quick. We're going to cook that zucchini on the opposite side of the pan. So it stays tender? Just so it gets the flavor going. We're going to add a little bit of garlic to it. And we're going to put the mushrooms in there, too. Take a pasta. Now. Here's one of my pet peeves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I watch a lot of... Cook, cooking shows, and you know, you see them and they chop and then they use the blade to like. So I was getting mad at Rachel Ray when she does that. <laughs> you know, I'm like, Throw Rachel, don't do that. In there. Okay. Just on the zoom, just like that, just a little bit. Put the top right back on, just like that. And then our mushrooms, you can either get them pre sliced or put them in your colander and just. Oh, that and that them up. Exactly. Pasta, but that's not good. For you. Yeah, I was gonna say, but that's not good for your night. No, so that's why I use a knife. Not to be rude, but I see that. Hey. I'm very picky about my knife because I like the grip, and I don't even know. Here, just is it? Oh, isn't it great? I'm sorry. Do you use my knife to do that? Well, cause mine. I love mine. I like. I, the, I have tiny hands. In fact, your wife told me the other day, oh my god, your hands are so tiny. I'm like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> and all we want to do is get these zucchini slices <laughs> halfway done. I know. Spread them out a little bit. They cook a little bit more evenly. Top right down. And then if you're really mad at something, it's great to like, come home. Your mouth works. Oh, sorry, I got one. Kids are in school. <laughs> this thing can be done in an hour. As long as it's you know? his knife. <laughs> exactly. That's good enough. Okay, because I don't, you don't mess with my knife like that. Let me see your knife now. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, because see, look, look how big your grip is compared to mine. Like this is a nice.